heavy stuff, the battery, the processor, is in this external box that you can have in your wallet. Um, it also has a convenient ports for debugging like HDMI and USB and audio analog output. So what I can do is I can plug in the HDMI cable here uh, from the television behind me. And what that allows me to do is allows you to see what I'm seeing in the glasses. So when I put these on, now you're seeing what I'm seeing and uh, I'm able to share the experience. So as you can see, I can navigate through uh, the Android desktop. And then I can also launch uh, any app, of course. So for example, we'll go here to the uh, Fruit Slicer game. So let's do a bit of practice. And so even though this is a 2D application, I can interact with it in 3D. Uh, so it's seeing the gestures from my finger, and that's how I'm masterfully or not slicing fruit. So we'll stop again there. Oops, my finger takes me back. Uh, so I can use any app here. For example, I can use the calculator. I can do 66 divided by 2. You give me 33, not very uh, needed uh, to do that calculation, but just kind of shows you uh, the interaction that I can have. So this is Flipboard. Uh, I can navigate my Flipboard app uh, just as I would on an Android tablet. Um, except here I'm doing it uh, in the air, and if it weren't for the HDMI cable that was connected to the TV, I would have complete privacy as to what I'm viewing um, within the applications. So, long five finger will take me back. Uh, let's see what other apps do we have. Um, we have, this one's really cool. Um, this one shows kind of a, a 3D model of a skeleton. So it takes a bit uh, to load just because it's a, a complex 3D model. So give it a second. So now here I have this model that I can move around in 3D space of the skeleton. I can even zoom in and get a closer look at the inside of his head, uh, the inside of the rib cage, and of course I can zoom back out and make him small again. So that really kind of shows you the type of interaction and also the accuracy of your finger tracking um, that we're doing. So you have very fine control over this 3D model with your finger uh, in space. So we'll go back. Uh, another one, one of the big things is our glasses are 3D, so in addition to all the 2D applications that we're showing here, uh, we can also have 3D applications. Uh, so this one is going to look uh, a bit different on the TV because it's showing the 3D uh, display. So to, to see in 3D, each eye has a se separate display showing slightly different things. So what you see on the left half is what my left eye is seeing, what you see on the right half is what my right eye is seeing. And when I look at it through the glasses, my brain reconstructs uh, the object in 3D. So here I see a heart. So you're seeing two on the, on the TV because it's left and right eye. But in the glasses, I only see one 3D model of the heart uh, floating in front of me. And so I can turn it around um, and I can examine it. Uh, of course, you know, various other different models work just as well, like the brain. So again, I have this model of the brain in 3D uh, in front of me that I can turn. Um, and of course here you're seeing the left and the right eye. And so the 3D applications can completely coexist with the 2D applications and you can switch back and forth very easily. Um, of course this being Android, I have my standard you know, uh, application drawer. I can go to any application, even the settings, and I can go through and I can change my uh, I can check out my Wi-Fi, for example, see all my different uh, Wi-Fi hotspots that I'm connected to, um, or any other um, of the standard Android um, settings or controls that you would normally have. So again, we'll go back to the home screen. Okay, and the final application we want to show you guys is remote desktop control of a standard PC. Uh, so here we have a laptop uh, running Windows 8. 
And using the uh, Splash Hop application uh, that I have on my developer kit, I can connect to it remotely over Wi-Fi. Um, this is Alan's Windows PC. Uh, so I can connect to it and I'll be able to control it uh, just as I would if I had a standard uh, uh, remote desktop software from another PC. Uh, so this, uh, this PC can be running any application that you want. Uh, I can navigate what's on there. I can see uh, my NCAA Final Four brackets. Um, looks like it didn't do too good, but that usually happens. Um, but you can still go around, and I'm controlling this PC remotely um, through this Android application that's allowing me to do a remote desktop, and I can check the weather hour by hour for London. And now I'm back uh, to my standard Android desktop. Um, which I already showed you guys last time. So that wraps up about everything.